Hey guys, welcome to this awesome tutorial on how to make Ubuntu look like Mac. Alright, look at this. I'm running Ubuntu. Just to prove it to you, I'm going to put uh, over here, um, system, and then about Ubuntu. It's right all there. Everything is imitated from the Mac onto Ubuntu because Mac is Linux and Ubuntu is Linux. And I have Ubuntu 10.10. .10. Um, this is pretty cool. It, the program we're going to be using or the installation thing is called Macbuntu. Um, it's an imitation. It's perfectly legal. What does Mac Macbuntu install? Shows all right here. And yeah, it also includes uh, Firefox and Thunderbird and Chrome themes. See, you notice that I'm using Google Chrome right now, and it looks like the Mac zone. Pretty cool, huh? And also Firefox. It, when you first install it, it'll open up the web browser automatically. Don't worry, I'll be showing you this step by step. So basically, just come to this website, which I will post in the description. And by the way, just to show you some icons, um, it comes with Docky. It automatically installs everything for you. Uh, let's say I go to my places. It has the icons, um, the music folder, if you notice here. So it's just, just like Mac, and it's very, very easy to imitate. Um, if you don't like Mac, it's okay. But um, if you just are a fan of Mac, but you can't afford it, this video will show you. So arrive at this site and just scroll down and you should look at the screenshots here it also changes your login screen just to let you know and gives you a couple of sounds um, download and run Macbone 2 alright one problem though is um, if you do it from the terminal it's really really uh, hard or it's basically the same but it's very difficult and sometimes it won't work so if I were you scroll down where it says this part just click on manually download just open that in the new tab and you should be loaded at this page so once you're loaded at this page you can go ahead and look at the screenshots but I'm already showing you Ubuntu so um, just scroll down until you see Mac Ubuntu 10.10 .10. if you have 10.04 go ahead and 10.10 .10. so I have 10.10 .10. go ahead and download it you should have a little something like this on your desktop it's the tar.gz so basically just right click on it extract to here and you should get a folder like this double click on it you should get a window like this right click on install.sh just to make sure everything's fine and click on properties after that's done click on the permissions tab and check mark this box that says allow executing file as program so after you get that done um, just double click on the file now and this should pop up just click on run in terminal the terminal should open and you should get a little something like this but unfortunately I already installed everything if you scroll up, it shows that it installs these, um, the installation comp is extras, application menu, and yeah. If you guys want this at the top, I will make a video. If not, the video is showing up right now. Um, let's say I click on the terminal, it gives the menu bar up here. Also, when I open up the folders, it gives it like that, just like the Mac. So um, it, when this window pops up, um, just press, I mean, uh, type Y and just press enter. This should pop up again, just uh, type Y and type in your password. After that's done, this should pop up. Um, just press 1 on the keyboard and press enter. This should pop up. Now this is the Mac text similar to Mac's own. So you can choose the middle or big or small. I suggest middle, so uh, type number 2 and press enter. Enable wobbly windows just like Ubuntu, like this. Um, if you want to go Mac, you can type N, but since I'm an Ubuntu user, just press Y, enter. Enable left bottom corner to show, to show desktop. Let's say I move the mouse to the left side. It should automatically show the desktop, but unfortunately, I don't know how to work it. Um, just press Y, and to the right bottom to show all corner windows. Um, I think there's a way on Ubuntu to enable that, because unfortunately, it's not working for me. Just press Y enter setting a repository basically just let it do its thing and I'll be back once a couple of things go by it says installing backgrounds um it should download it for you but I already downloaded everything and it's cool you know the boot screen on Mac it gives you the boot screen just like Mac so it's basically just Ubuntu is just like Mac it's Linux and it's free so um after you're done with those after setting up everything um where it says type number just uh, press number two or read this carefully where it says PAW OS X right there or you, you can choose this one I'm gonna press number two and enter 
Make sure to read that carefully, by the way, if you want the Apple loading uh, boot screen. This should be uh, doing its thing right here. Um, that's normal if it says warning, no support. It should give you some annoying sounds, by the way. The sounds are really kind of annoying. <laughs> So um, after that's done, it says Firefox theme and Thunderbird Le Leopard theme along with the GTK Chrome, which is the one I showed you earlier, which is like this. Um, just press Y on the keyboard, enter. And then it should automatically open up Firefox and Google Chrome. Now if you open up the terminal, it should take a moment. It's going to automatically load the websites where you want to get the theme. So what's it's doing to me right now? Here it is. It's automatically. So I think Google Chrome will uh, come up first. If you go here, um, you'll see the Google Chrome site. I mean, uh, this theme. Just scroll down and click on Download File, which is right there. And it says Extension Apps Can Harm Your Computer. No, it's fine because Ubuntu doesn't get viruses. Click on Continue. And it should automatically show this. And there you go. You got the theme. Now with Google Chrome, I mean, uh, with Mozilla, it should load up just it should open up two tabs go to the first one click this to add to Firefox and the leopard and it should be perfectly fine and it gives you a couple of sounds as you just heard it uh, click those tabs now once it's done you can just go ahead and restart your computer I'm not gonna restart mine because I got everything so yeah it gives you the dock um, the windows here it's pretty cool and it gives you the minimized animation just like Mac so let's say um, see it installs the applications automatically it gives you the icon from ribbon box which is iTunes but it's not iTunes and it has cheese webcam um, it's similar to Mac zone if you have a Mac it's pretty much similar so sup I'm on camera right now or not yet sup And there you go, you got it. Who's doing the laundry? Bye.